What's up, everyone? It's White Gamer. First and foremost, Happy New Year. Today, we have the best striker build for level 25, level 50, level 75, and level 100. This first one is going to be for level 25. So, your position, you're going to go with striker. Your height, we're going to go with 5, 6. Your weight, we're going with 119 pounds. For the running style, I recommend two. Since you are playing short, uh, the first one I recommend is Morning Sunshine. Has your arms really spread out when you're running. And then the other one I recommend is El Pacto. All up to you guys. Running styles, for most people, do affect uh, the way your pro runs with the ball or off the ball. So I definitely recommend going with the Morning Sunshine. But all up to you which running style you want to use. So now we have the play style. We're going to start off with the play style plus. At level 25, you're only going to have two unlocked. So just go with the first touch plus, guys. It's going to help your pro take very good control of the ball when you get a ball sent to you. And that's what you want. So then for the play style, the first one I highly recommend is the finesse shot, guys. This one is going to score you a lot of goals. And it's very good for inside the box or outside the box. The next one I recommend is the rapid. When someone, when you're running with the ball, your pro won't be taking those heavy touches as you're running with the ball. And it's very, very good. And then last but not least, your third one is the quick step. Just going to allow your pro to accelerate quicker when you're on the ball. So these are the three that I recommend for level 25. Now we have the skill tree for level 25. You're only going to have 43 skill points. So let's focus on acceleration and sprint speed. This will give you 86 acceleration and 82 sprint speed. This is good for now. Um, you should be able to outrun your the bots or your opponents. But this is good for now. Now focus on the shooting. You're going to get the four star weak foot. It is important as a striker to be able to shoot with both of your foot. So the four star weak foot for now will be good enough. And then for this right side, we're going to focus on finishing. This will put it up to 87 finishing. Remember, you also have that finesse shop play style, guys, which is going to be very, very good. Um, but yeah, this is how we went with the, the shooting. Four star weak foot with the 87 finishing. And you do got the uh, shot power. Shot power is important this year, by the way. It makes it very difficult for keepers to save shots when you have a lot of shot power. And last but not least, we got the dribbling. We're going to focus on the agility. The agility is going to allow your pro to turn quicker when you're on the ball. And that's what you want. And then everything else, we're just going to leave it as it is for now. Now, if we back out and we take a look at the overall summary, you're going to be an 81 rated. Guys, the rating doesn't matter. What really matters is the individual stats. You're going to have 83 pace, 82 shooting with the 87 finishing and the four-star weak foot. And then you have the 80 dribbling, which is... Good for now, but this was for level 25. Now we have level 50 striker. Again, your position to be striker. Height, this time we went up an inch. So you're gonna be 5'7. Your weight were 121 pounds. For the running style, I'm gonna recommend the same two that I did for level 25: the morning sunshine and El Pato. Just to remind everyone, guys, running styles are just personal preferences, but these are the two that I recommend, and we're gonna go with the morning sunshine. So now we have the play style plus for level 50. You're still going to have one slot unlocked, but you're going to have the finesse shot plus guys. Highly, highly recommend you to use the finesse shot plus. It is extremely, extremely good for inside the box or outside the box. Gives it a lot of curve and accuracy, which makes it difficult for goalkeepers to save the shot. Now for your regular play style, the first one we're going to go with is going to be the rapid. Same as before, this is going to allow your pro to run very good with the ball and the Touches won't be as heavy. There won't be bad touches when you're running with the ball. The next one we're going to go with is going to be the quick step. It's going to allow your pro to accelerate quicker when you're off the ball or also on the ball. The next one will be the Travella. This will allow your pro to do the outside the foot shot or a pass. Next one is the press proven, guys. This one's a very good play style and it's very underestimated by a lot of strikers. The main reason it's so good is because not only will it keep the ball very close to your feet when you're at jog speed, but when you're shielding the ball, it's going to make shielding the ball more effective when you're being challenged by opponents, whether it's AI or human CBs. So this is a really good play style to use for a striker so you can shield and protect the ball when you're inside the box and you need to shield it. But boys and girls, these are the play styles that I recommend for level 50 at striker. Now we have the skill tree at level 50. You're going to have 79 skill points. So you're going to get the first... Cheetah Archetype, this will give you 90 acceleration and 90 sprint speed, which is very, very, very good. Most of the defenders aren't even this fast, and this should be more than enough to outpace your AI defenders, even though they are a little bit OP, the AI defenders this year, but this is really good pace. 
Now, for shooting, you're going to get the four-star weak foot. And then on the right side, you get the finishing. You're going to get the five-star weak foot. It's super important to be able to shoot with both of your feet. And then you get the finisher archetype. This will give you 95 finishing, which is amazing. 83 long shots in case you need to take shots from outside the box. You also have the volleys and the penalties very good. And like I mentioned, the five-star weak foot with the 83 shot power. And remember, guys, you have the finesse shot plus, which is very, very good with these finishing stats. But this is how we went for the shooting. Last but not least, we got the dribbling. We're going to focus on agility. And then these two dribbling right here. This will give you 78 agility. I know it's not the greatest, but there's other important things like the shooting and pace to focus on. And then you have the 84 dribbling with the 78 balance. Remember, guys, you also have that press proven play style, which will help out with that balance and make it difficult for opponents to knock you out. Now we back out, ladies and gentlemen, look at the summary. You're going to be an 84 rated striker. Remember, guys, the rating doesn't matter. What really matters are the individual stats. 90 pace, 86 shooting. You got the 95 finishing, the five-star weak foot, and you have 81 dribbling. So this was for level 50. Now we have level 75 striker. Same as before, your position, you're going to go with striker. Height, we're going to go with 5'8". Your weight, we're going to go with 121 pounds. For the running style, the two that I recommend is the Morning Sunshine and a Lepato. The main reason we went with these two, you're playing very small. So these are very two good running styles if you're playing small like we are. We're going to go with the Morning Sunshine. It's the one that I've been saying to go with throughout the entire video. Now we have the play styles for level 75. You're going to have your second slot on lock one to hit level 75. So the first one I definitely recommend is a finesse shot plus, guys. This is the best one to use this year as in a, a striker. It's super, super good, guys. And then the second one, you can go with a couple options. You can go with a rapid plus, which is very good. Your pro won't be taking those heavy touches as you're running with the ball if it, or if a teammate sends you a through ball and you're sprinting. The knock-ons won't be that heavy on the ball. Another one you can go with is a quick stat plus. It's going to allow your pro to accelerate a bit quicker. And this one kicks in a bit quicker than the other one, than the regular version. Another one you can go with, again, if you know how to do power shots, guys, a power shot plus is a very, very good play style plus to use. If you don't know how to use power shots, then don't use it. But, boys and girls, we're going to go with the rapid plus, guys, because the finesse shot plus and the rapid plus combination is very, very good. Now, for the regular play style, the first one I definitely recommend is the quick step same as before just to allow your pro to accelerate quicker when you're off the ball or on the ball next we're going to go with travella it's going to allow you to perform the outside the foot shot or the outside the foot pass so definitely go with travella so you have different ways of scoring next we're going to go with the press proven it's going to allow you to keep the ball very close when you're at jog speed and when you're shooting the ball, it's going to make it difficult for opponents to knock you off, guys. That's the main reason this one's very good. The next one we're going to go with is going to be the technical. When you're doing the RB or the R1 dribbling, the ball is going to be very close to your feet. And it's just going to allow you to move quicker when you're doing the RB or R1 dribbling with this play style. And it's super, super good and very noticeable. And then, guys, for the next one, the next two are just how you play as a striker. We're going to go with Tiki Taka because it's going to allow you to make sure distant passes and they're going to be very accurate um you know sometimes you might get pressed and you, you have to do a short pass to your teammate so that's where we're going to go with tiki taka and then the last one guys i definitely recommend the power header or even the power shot the regular power shot is good too if you know how to do power shots or chip shot like i said it's all you play striker in the different scenarios the power header is good you are only 5'8", so we're going to go with the chip shot because there's going to be sometimes in certain scenarios where the keeper might be out of his line and you can just chip it and it would just allow the chips to be way more accurate. But these are the play styles and the play style plus that we went for level 75. Now we have the skill tree for level 75. You're going to have 117 skill points. So you're going to get all this filled out and you're going to get the cheetah archetype. You're going to leave your pace just like this. 92 acceleration and 90 sprint speed. That is very, very fast for a striker. You should 90% of the time outrun your opponents. Then, for the shooting, you're going to get the four-star weak foot. You're going to get another shot power. On this right side, you're going to get the finishing completely filled out. You're going to get the finisher archetype. This will give you 95 finishing with the 87 shot power combination. Guys, the shot power this year is very important. Makes it very difficult for keepers to save certain shots when you have a lot of shot power. And, of course, you can't forget about the five-star weak foot. As a striker, it is a must that you have a five-star weak foot. So, you can shoot with both of your, your foot. And so you have your opponents guessing which one's your strong one.
Now, for dribbling, you're going to get everything filled out on this left side. Get all the dribbling, all the agility. You're going to get the four-star skill move. You're going to get a maestro archetype. And then on the right side, you're going to get the ball control. So this will give you 86 agility. Remember, you're 5'8", and you're pretty light. So even though the agility is 86, you should still be able to glide through your opponents. You have 78 balance. Even though it's slow, remember, you have the press room and play style, which will allow you to shield the ball better and make it harder for opponents to knock you off the ball. And then that 92 attacking positioning that only matters if you plan it as an any in your club, which means you control the other AI bots and your pro will do good runs when you have a high attacking positioning. Then you have the 94 dribbling and of course the four star skill moves. And then for your last two skill points, guys, I recommended to put on stamina. The stamina is very low on the striker bill as it is already. So you do want to have stamina, guys, because the stamina will be going down really quick as you're making runs and just running a lot in, inside a box or taking on your opponent. So we're going to focus on some stamina. And then you also have the 85 reactions. It's going to allow for your pro to react quicker to the ball when you're about to receive it. We back out. We look at the overall summary. You're going to be an 86 rated overall. Like I said, guys, the overall doesn't really matter. It's the individual stats. 90 pace, 87 shooting with 95 finishing, 5-star weak foot, the 88 dribbling. This was for level 75. Now we have level 100 best striker built. Precision. You're going to go with striker height. We're going to go with 6 foot, guys. I found this height to be very good since I'm on defender. I've come up against a lot of strikers that are this tall and it makes it very difficult for defenders to knock you off the ball. So that's why we went with six foot and then you want to go very light as possible so you can make up for that tall height. So we went with 99 pounds. Now for your running style, since you are playing taller than the other levels that we did, I recommend either the Norse. This is the Holland running style. The Fright Train is also very good. The Head Down. So any of those three guys are really good. Again, running styles are just personal preferences. You can go with wherever one you feel more comfortable with. Highly recommend the Norse since you are playing tall. It has your whole entire upper body leaning forward. Now, for your play style plus, the first one, I recommend Finesh Shot Plus. I said this in the last level. This is the best one this year as a striker. It's just so good. It has so much curve and accuracy, which makes it difficult for goalkeepers to save. The next one I recommend is the Rapid Plus. When your guy's running with the ball, he won't be taking heavy touches as you're running with the ball. And it's very good, especially since you're going to be playing striker. You're getting a lot of set, uh, through ball sent to you. So you don't want your pro to be taking those heavy touches as you're running with the ball. Now, for your regular play style, definitely recommend the Quick Step. It's going to allow your pro to accelerate quicker. And then, guys, for this physical part, you can go with Travella. So you can do the outside of the push shot. Or you can go with the Relentless. The Relentless will allow you to recover your stamina at each half time, whether it's uh, the second half or extra time. So all up to you. I would go with the, the Travello, guys, just so you can have other ways of scoring and shooting. The next one I recommend is the Technical. When you're doing the RB or the R1 dribbling, the ball will stay very close to your feet, and it's going to be much smoother if you didn't have this. Next one we're going to go with is the Press Proven. You're already playing six foot, so this is going to make it even more difficult for opponents to knock you off the ball when you're shielding the ball. And when you have this play style, the ball will be very close to your feet when you're jogging with it. And then, guys, the last two play styles, it's all how you play striker. You can go with the power header. Since you are six foot, you do have some height. The power header is a very good one because not only does it give it power on headers, but... It also gives you accuracy, so you can also score headers. And then the last one, guys, I recommend the Tiki Taka, or you can do another shooting all up to you. You can do the Power Shot. Power Shot is good if you know how to do them. But the Tiki Taka will just let you do short passes. Very, very accurate, and it makes it difficult for opponents to intercept it. Or you can take away one of these and put the Acrobatic, guys. I've seen a lot of tall strikers use Acrobatic. It's very good. So all up to you on how you want to go for these last two to three play styles, but... We're going to go like with these. I think these are very good and very well rounded off for a striker. Now we have the skill tree for level 100. You're going to have 160 skill points once you're at level 100. So your pace, you're going to max it out completely. Get everything filled out. You're going to have 91 acceleration and 92 sprint speed and your six foot, which is very, very good. These are some very good pace stats. If you ask me now for the shooting, you're going to get the sniper archetype, get that shot power. Maxed out for this right side, you're going to get the weak foot, you're going to get the finisher archetype, and you're going to get the finishing. You're going to have 96 finishing, 94 shot power. That combination of the finishing, the shot power with the finesse shot plus is going to be so deadly, guys. Super, super deadly. And not to mention, you have the five-star weak foot, like I've been saying in the entire video. It is important as a striker to be able to shoot with both of your foot. 
So you have your opponents guessing which one's your strong one. So this is how you want your shooting to look like. Now for dribbling, you're gonna get the agility, all the dribbling filled out. You're gonna get the four star skill move. You're gonna get the maestro archetype. And then for this right side, you're gonna get the links archetype. And guys, for the balance, get another balance. Make sure it says two out of two for the balance. Now, look at these stats, guys. You have 86 agility. You're six foot, 99 pounds. So your guy is gonna feel very good on the ball with 90 balance, guys. It is gonna be super, super hard for defenders or just opponents in general to knock you off the ball. That's why we went with six foot, guys. And we focus on the links archetype so you can get that balance up. And you have the press proven play style, which is going to make it even more difficult for them to knock you off the ball. Then you have 86 ball control, 92 dribbling, and the four-star skill moves. Four-star skill moves should be more than enough for most people. Most of the time, I come up against five-star skill moves. Strikers, they don't even use a five-star skill move to the full potential. So I think four-star is more than enough. And then last but not least, we're going to focus on some physical. You're going to get the jumping, and then you're going to get the reactions, guys. Focus on this reactions. Make sure this is two out of two. You have 77 jumping. You're six foot. You have a power header, so you can win some headers. And you have 88 stamina, guys. Stamina is important for a striker because you're going to be doing a lot of running inside the box or pushing up the ball. Then you have the 89 reactions, which is very good. You always want to have your reactions very high. The reaction is going to determine how quickly your pro reacts to the ball. And it's going to allow you to do much quicker animation. So you do want to focus on the reaction. If we back out, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to be an 89 rated striker. As I've been saying the entire video, the overall doesn't matter. It's the individual stats that matter. You have 91 pace, 90 shooting, and 89 dribbling with 90 balance in the four-star skill move. Boys and girls, this was the best striker built for level 25, 50, 75, and 100. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.